good morning scholars how are you hope you all are fine students in the previous session we have discussed about the formatting in microsoft powerpoint in today's session we will be discussing about animation in ms powerpoint animations are special effects that can be added to text or objects on a slide an animation is used when the presenter wants his audience to focus on important points it can provide both sound and visual effects so today we are going to discuss about animation in ms powerpoint so let's start firstly i am telling you how you can add animation in an object first of all go to home tab here from the new slide i am going to add here blank slide like this now go to insert tab select pictures option in the downloads i am having some pictures so i am selecting just one from it i have selected one picture here and it has been inserted in my slide now i want to add an animation in the selected object for this first of all go to animation tab click on it now from the animation group this is animation group from this animation group click on the more arrow look here students here is a more arrow and you have to select the required animation from it and as i am selecting this one so select the required animation for your object the animation effect can be seen on the selected object now i am telling you how you can set the timing of an animation sometimes in the presentation you might need to set the timing of the animation powerpoint allows you to set the starting point of animation its duration and decide whether or not the start of the animation needs to be delayed so for this purpose you have to follow some steps firstly require required object you have to select like this now select animation for the object on the animation tab you have to click like this in the timings group from here this is timing group in this timing group click the drop down arrow here you will find these three options first one is on click when you are selecting this option on click animation starts on single left click of the mouse now second option is with previous in case of multiple animated objects the current animation and the previous animation will start simultaneously next one is after previous in case of multiple animated objects the current animation will start immediately after the previous animation ends now see next one now i am telling you how you can set the duration so for this in this timings group you will be clicking here on the duration so in the duration spin box you can set for how long the animation should last and if you uh, want to change 
the duration you want to delay the animation you want to play the animation after a certain number of seconds so then you will be selecting this option delay and here you will be entering the time here you will be setting the time difference between the start action and the animation actually playing so in this way you can set the timing of an animation now by default here it is always on click now we have to discuss about how we have to use action buttons you can add an action button in the powerpoint you can also add links to a web page email addresses file slide in the same presentation or a slide from another presentation the links are added using the hyperlinks and action buttons so i am telling you how you can add an action button in the powerpoint so for this you have to go in the go to the insert tab click on it here in the links group look here this is links group this one here you will find these two options hyperlink and action first i am telling you what is hyperlink when you want to create a link in your document for the quick access to the web pages and files then you will be selecting this option hyperlink and you can add a hyperlink in the slide next one is action now i am telling you how you can add action give the selected object or an action to carry out whether you click it or the mouse on over it so in this way you will be adding an action button and an and a hyperlink in the ms powerpoint now next one is how to rehearse a presentation powerpoint has a feature that allows you to rehearse or practice practice your presenting the presentation as well as time it so for this purpose on the slide show tab firstly you have to click in the setup group this is setup group look here this is setup group from here you have to select this option click on it rehearse timings when you will click on the rehearse timing icon this option begin a slide show with the now here you can see when the presentation is complete a message confirmation box appears the total time for your slide show was this and do you want to save the new slide timings if you want to do this then click on yes button otherwise you can click on the no button if you want to save it then just click on yes button so in this way you can rehearse your presentation now i am telling you how you can print your presentation for this firstly you have to go to file tab click on it in the left pen here you will find one option print when you will click on the print option then this type of print window appears on your computer screen from the settings group here is a setting group click the full page slides drop down menu this one and select the required print layout and handouts and after that you can print 
click on the print option once you have done this setting so in this way you can print your presentation whenever a presenter a presenter need a printed copy of the presentation slides notes page or the outline then this print option allows you to print the slides notes pages or outline in the printed form so that's all for today hope you have enjoyed today's video for today only this much thank you so much